Hola, buenos dias. Good morning, my beautiful people. Welcome back to the channel. I'm so glad you could join me for yet another planner video. How are you doing? Let me know how you're doing in the comments down below. I would love to know. Um, tell me the best thing that's happened to you this week or something you're looking forward to in the coming week. I just love hearing good news and feeling a positive energy so yeah let your girl know today i'm gonna be planning in my happy planner uh, i'm gonna set up my weekly spread for my academics for the following week which is the week of january the 17th and i plan in my mega happy planner here my baby and I'm going to be in my academic section. So let's skip to my academic section here. I have various planners Frankenplanned in my uh, Mega Happy Planner here, and I separate them all with uh, this holographic or sparkly um, scrapbook paper. And so this is where we are now. I use an undated vertical Mickey Mouse Happy Planner for my academic section. This is my full-time job, so it's the most important section to me. It's the first section in my planner before any other planners um, in this. I think I have nine planners in this particular Mega Happy Planner, but this is the first one. It's the one that I have to like, you know, get my stuff done there before I can move on and do other things. But anyways, I'm gonna be planning in this section here. So if you're interested in seeing how I set up my week for my academic planner, just keep on watching. All right, so I'm gonna break it down of how I set up my weekly spread and my academic planner. The first thing I do is I check out my monthly overview page. This is where I have all of my large monthly goals. These are things I wanna get done you know, working steadily on them throughout the month. So I have a couple goals here. I've already completed two of these. So I just, you know, check out which ones I still need to complete. I also check the important date section down here to see if there's anything um, I want to make a note of. And once I've, you know, checked with that, checked in with that, I check in with my monthly calendar as well. So I always have like important dates going on here. Um, and right now I actually don't really have that much going on except uh, we do have a holiday, Martin Luther King Jr. holiday on the 17th year. I also make a note of what week it is. So I am a graduate student. This is my second to last quarter in graduate school. I'm hoping to graduate in June with my PhD in biology. It's been seven long years since I started that journey. And so I am ready to move on. <laughs> I am so ready to move on, but it's it's been such a journey. Anyways, I'm at UC San Diego and we're on the quarter system. So that means it's a 10 week quarter and there's four quarters in a year. Very different from what I was used to as an undergraduate. I was on the semester system, which is a little bit longer and you only have two semesters in the year as well as a summer session if you so choose to partake in that. So anyways, not much going on um, this week. So I've checked in with my monthly and then this is just the first week in January and this is the second week in January. This is my bookmark here. Um, it's a Minnie Mouse bookmark and my theme for my academic planner is Mickey Mouse and that's because this is a Mickey Mouse planner. And so so I've decided to designate a particular theme or concept or aesthetic for each one of my planners in my solar system. I do have 17 different planners and they're like planets that surround me. And I feel like each one has its own like purpose, obviously, but each one has its own design and style and aesthetic. So just like every planet in our solar system has its unique geography and environment. Um, the same with my planners, my planner solar system. So the theme that I'm going for in this planner is Mickey Mouse. And that's because um, I have, this is a Mickey Mouse planner. So I felt like it's kind of appropriate. 
and also because I have so many Mickey Mouse stickers. I think I have um, three different sticker books that the Happy Planner has released um, from Mickey Mouse in here. And these are the first three that they came out with. These are the OG Mickey Mouse Disney stickers. Since then, they've come out with like Mickey and Florals, Mickey Oasis, Mickey... Um, what's the other one? Mickey, like modern Mickey. Um, I'm sure there are others, but I only have the first three. Actually, I do have the, the two Oasis books that came out, but those aren't in here because I felt like um, my Mickey Mouse sticker pack was just going to get enormous if I added <laughs> more Mickey stickers. So I did not add them to the pack, but I do want to get through these stickers. I do have a lot, and so I'm just trying to get through these stickers. And so I feel like if I stick to you just using Mickey stickers in at least one of my planners, then I'll like get through them pretty consistently. So that's why uh, I just have Mickey Mouse spreads in this particular planner. And as you can see, because this is like my main job, I do tend to write a lot in this planner. And so we're gonna start uh, setting up our planner, our weekly spread for the week of the 17th through the 23rd. And I always have to like reference um, this, the, like the previous spread to see what I didn't finish this week and what needs to be carried over to the next week, so. Um, I'm going to be flipping back and forth between that page um, and and the current. So the first thing I like doing is setting up my sidebar. My sidebar is where I write my weekly goals and I separate these goals into major goals and minor goals. So I write major goals up here and then minor goals down there. And uh, at the end, I'll just fill in like all the writing stuff today. Right now, I'll just um, set up the stickers. So my major goals are like big ticket items, you know, three to four big ticket goals that, you know, I can't get done in an hour or two hours. These are goals I need to work on steadily, consistently throughout the week to complete them. My minor goals are goals that I can get done in anywhere from like 10 minutes to an hour. They're just like small, like uh, small items that need to get done. And I need to, you know, be conscious of getting them done. And I need to like write them down to make sure I don't forget them. But um, they're ones that I can get through pretty easily. So the first thing that I do to set up my weekly spread is check my monthly calendar to see if there's anything going on. Again, I don't have much going on except for the holiday on the 17th, which honestly I'll probably still do some work on that day because there's just a lot I need to get done. I also at this point check my Google calendar because sometimes I'll add things onto my Google calendar as they come up in my inbox and I haven't had time to transfer them over to my monthly calendar. I also have things on my Google calendar that are like weekly recurring meetings that I don't write on my monthly calendar because I don't want to write like every Monday I have a meeting at one because um, it will crowd up my calendar the monthly calendar there so I'll check my Google Calendar and I do have let's see I have one I have two things going on two meetings going on um, this week so I'm glad I checked my Google Calendar so um, let's see let me grab two boxes uh, to kind of make a note of that so on Monday I have a 4 p.m. lab meeting and then on Thursday at 10 30 I have a seminar I have to attend so again I'll write down the, the details in the boxes at the end. And so how I like to set up my vertical format is that I'll follow a loose chronological scale. So events that happen earlier in the day in the morning go up in this top box and then events that go on later in the day will fall into either the middle or the bottom box. And then this is where I like kind of check back onto last week and I see what um, outstanding things that still need to be addressed. So there's a couple of things here that I didn't get to uh, get to this week, and so I need to push them towards this week. And there's a major uh, a major deadline that I want to meet on Monday. So I'm gonna um, put a sticker up there at the top. 
And then from here on out, I don't really have like a, a structured sense of how I want to set up my my weekly spread but what i end up doing usually is adding a lot of um, flags as well as to-do lists because i can always fill in flags and to-do lists um, i'll wake up in the morning and i'll decide you know three goals that i want to do on monday and i'll write those down there so let me add another flag down here i can always fill these uh fill these in and then I also like adding um, full boxes to uh, write down um, like papers I'm reading. So every time I start a paper, I'll write down the name of the paper. And so uh, I'm going to add two. I usually tend to read about two papers a week. So I'll add two full boxes here, um, one on Tuesday and then one on Friday. There we go. So you can kind of see that, um, let's see, here and here. These are the two boxes I used to write down the papers I was reading. This one says, a novel enhancer of agouti contributes to parallel evolution of cryptically colored beach mice. That's all about the evolution of coat color in beach mice in the southern United States. Uh, yeah, scientists like do they just talk in in jargon this one was interesting wild sri lankan elephants retreat from the sound of disturbed asian honeybees that was really cool the scientist who wrote that paper actually came to speak with us on friday so that's why i read that paper and it was about how uh, people in sri lanka will use honeybees to act as kind of uh, deterrence or natural barriers to elephants because elephants have this problem of you know um uh, rummaging into the um, into the um, agricultural crops in Sri Lanka. I'll add a little bit of washi down here, a cute little washi strip. Perfect. I have a couple more flags here, so I'll go ahead and add these. And just like that, we're done with another sticker page. I had a couple of uh, Mickey head stickers down here, but I just went ahead and like added them into my sticker book. So this sticker book is this huge sticker book I got at Michael's and um, it's just for sticker storage. And I love it for whenever I have like a page that only has one or two, you know, stickers left on it. I'll just go ahead and stick those stickers in here and then um, get rid of the page. And then I think I can use the rest of these stickers here too. Um, how I like using these like quarter boxes is I will like decide on like a goal. Um, let's put this on Thursday. I'll decide on a goal. Like uh, maybe I'll take one of my major goals here and then I'll break it down into several steps. So let's put these stars to signify the steps. Um, let's break it down into four different steps here. And once those four steps are complete, um, usually the major task is complete and I can go ahead and check that off. So we'll also give myself one of these on Wednesday and use the rest of these star stickers. One, two, give myself four stickers as well. Awesome. Now I just have two stickers left. Let's see if I have another quarter box I can use. Yeah, I have another one here. And then lastly, I'll give myself uh, another task on Friday and use the last two stars. And another sticker sheet is done. 
But for Saturday and Sunday, because I don't work Saturday and Sunday, um, I always struggled with like making the best use of space in my planner because I tend to like always uh, fill up the space from Monday to Friday and then I feel sometimes like I need more space but I feel weird using the Saturday and Sunday columns. Um, at this point in my life, I've just decided to go ahead and use these columns even though I'm not actually doing work on Saturday or Sunday. How I like to use these columns is I'll use them as like reminder columns or like brain dump columns and I'll also, you know, decorate in them. So I'll add like a full box here. Um, I'll add this right here. And then I'll write like, you know, I'll use a sticker. Um, to write like reminder or you know um or like brain dump or anything but i tend to at this point like leave the, this section blank and then as the week goes on and let's say i have like something that i want to remind myself of but i don't want to i don't have room to fit it here but i also want it to be like on the page i'll go ahead and write it down on saturday so if I have, let's say, Tuesday, I realize that I need to um, like email someone and I don't have space to write it down here, I'll just write it down here. I'll put like reminder, email, whoever. And that way I see it every day when I open my planner and I can go ahead and check it off when I have completed that task. Um, even though I don't really plan to do it on Saturday, <laughs> I just want it on the page so that I can have it there looking at me in the face. And I'm just going to add one more sticker here. Sunshine on my mind. Perfect. And I'm just going to add some Mickey stickers uh, throughout the spread here. And just like that, we are done. I'm really happy with how it turned out. I am more concerned about the spread being functional and having a lot of space to write and brain dump and brainstorm as opposed to having it look absolutely beautiful and um, not super functional. I have so many planners that I can be as, you know, as um, decorative as I want to in other planners, but in this planner, because I need it so much for work and it's so functional for me, I like to leave a lot of space for me to write and um, most most of the planner for me is like to-do lists and checklists. So for me this is perfect. Just the fact that it has like tons of stickers on it for me is enough for it to be decorative. Like I don't need it to look absolutely like a work of art. But that is my academic spread. I hope you enjoyed watching this. Let me know um, your thoughts in the comments down below. Let me know how you are doing and let me know where you're watching this, like what state in the United States or what country, what city. Um, just let me know where you're coming from. All right, everyone, stay blessed and stay cute. Adios.